Uh, I'm Victor Delgadillo from Rio Mesa. And Victor, tell me about your piece here. What's the name of it? Um, the piece is called Trapped in My Mind. And uh, Talk about it a little bit. It was actually inspired by one of my favorite artists, like musical artists. His name is Kid Cudi. And um, I don't know, his music just gives me like a certain feel. And I don't know, the, he has a really like lonely theme, like where he feels like he's lonely and I could relate to that. And um, I don't know, the space also is incorporated into him. His nickname is Man on the Moon. So I don't know, I kind of like space, so. I love it. Yeah. And is painting kind of your format for art? Do you do you like to work with paint, other mediums? Uh, yeah, I like using uh, like acrylic and uh, chalk pastel. That's kind of my favorites. Hi, my name is Kelsey Berg. I'm a senior from Rio Mesa. Uh, this is my. Go ahead. This is my um, uh, piece called Classy Glass. It's just a, a jar of sea glass that I collected at the local beaches and put in a jar. And I was just experimenting with light sources, so I put a flashlight in the top of it and decided to take a picture. Uh, I just used like a normal, like not like a fancy camera, just like a normal little rectangular one. And then uh, I just put a flashlight in the top of a jar and took it going down, I guess. And you swear that is not a painting. No, I, swear, I swear it's not. I'm not that good at painting. That is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sheridan Talbert, and I'm from Channel Islands High School, and I'm a senior. Fantastic. Sheridan, <laughs> tell me about your piece. So this piece is called um, Never Lose Sleep Over the Opinion of Sheep, and it's ink and marker on um, normal paper. And um, the reason why I called it Never Lose Sleep Over the Opinion of Sheep was, um, as you can see, there's a lion, and there's a famous quote that goes, lions, don't lose, lions do not lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. And that was a quote that was very important to me um, over this past year, going through different things. And for a time, I cared a lot about what people thought of me. And after I've heard that quote, um, I really, I don't know, it inspired me to not think like that anymore, not so critically. You know, I'm not sure, yeah. It was um, in some reading that I did. It's beautiful. Thank you. How long did this piece take you? That took me um, about two weeks. That's a lot of lines, isn't it? Yeah, it was. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And is that your favorite medium? Do you like ink and paper? Yeah. Over mm -hmm. acrylics or paint? Well, I do enjoy painting a lot, um, but I find it easier um, to, you know, use pencil or, in this case, use um, ink and marker. It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Caitlin Springer, and this is my art. Well, where are you from? Tell me where you're from. I'm <laughs> from Camarillo. Okay, very good. And tell me the name of your painting. Um, it's me distorted. It's a self-portrait of myself done in. Um, Crayola marker, watercolor style. It's on a grid that's kind of distorted, so it stretches out certain points of it. Absolutely beautiful. Talk about the color. How did you decide what color you were going to use to the portrait? I kind of wanted it to be kind of a rainbow effect. The dark, the brighter, the darker the color, being the darker points, and you know, it's just from yellow to purple. Do you do, you do any acrylics, or do you like to work with? Acrylic is okay, but I like watercolor. Right, right. So you've got a beautiful piece there. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, on behalf of Oxford Union High School District, I'd like to welcome everybody here. Uh, this is the 13th of these that I've been involved with, and it's always really amazing to see what type of uh, art can be produced by uh, such a talented group of young people that are also led by uh, certainly outstanding art educators that we have throughout our district and I'm so glad that we're able to maintain these types of art programs within our schools. Uh, what I would like to do today is really just introduce uh, the people who are here today from our schools. Uh, first off, I would like to introduce Mr. Lippman, Principal of Pacifica, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Lippman, Mr. Lippman, Principal of Adolfo Camarillo High School, Mr. Lippman. And Mrs. Beltron, who is the principal of Pacifica High School. We also have Mr. Tom Ito here, assistant principal at Camarillo High School. <laughs> and then I'll have to take my glasses off to read all of these. First, Adolfo Camarillo High School 
uh, the art educators who are involved tonight, Terry Donaldson, Bonnie Mills, and Abby Santana. Then at Channel Islands High School, and one of these is a correction to the uh, 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 program that you may have received, uh, Virgil Cardenas, Nancy Cook, Dennis McSweeney, and Ben Clancy are the art educators at Channel Islands High School. <laughs> at Frontier High School, we have Christina Reyes Gonzalez. Is Christina here? I had seen her, okay. Uh, Wainimi High School, we have Robert Engel and uh, Elaine Chaprut. <laughs> At Oxnard High School, Darren Cartagena, Erica Kern, and Rainey Tanner. <laughs> At Pacifica High School, George Sierra, Shelly Indindi and Megan Mills. I don't know if I've seen George here, but I know the other two are here. So uh, from Pacifica High School, ladies, gentlemen. <laughs> and finally, from Rio Mesa High School, Diane Bolton, Gary Bowman, and Shi Young Kim. And I think I've seen all of them. Also, the principal of Rio Mesa High School, Mr. Ray Gonzalez. You were hiding, Ray, and that's hard to do. Okay, so uh, what we will do now is we're going to announce the winners. And uh, as your name is announced, please come up and uh, we'll shake your hand and congratulate you and get some pictures of you receiving your award. So once again, thank you so much for being here. Actually, this is a great turnout today. We have a lot of people here and some, some great art. So thank you so much. I'm Natalie McIntyre. My favorite color is red. I like long walks on the beach and, beach and I'm a junior. Fantastic. Tell me about your painting. Um, it was a self-portrait for my art class. It was... I took a picture in the morning one day when I woke up, it was around 7.30 or so, and I wanted to experiment with um, watercolor and um, Prisma's, uh, what was it, colored pencils because I'd never done either media before, so right. I thought it was cool. Now is that what you prefer to work in? Do you work with um, acrylics or paints or anything else? I'm experimenting right now. I really have hardly any experience in any mediums. And tell me, how long did this take you to create? Um, including the beginning of the ideas, maybe five hours, six hours. The eyes are just amazing. Thank you. Did you model those after anybody, or is that just from your imagination? Uh, I wanted to use utilize the secondary colors, which is purple, green, and orange. Right. right. So I thought that would be cool. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, my name is Laura Pang. And I made this what, piece. What, tell me your school. Uh, I go to Adolfo Camarillo High School and I'm a junior. Okay, tell me about your painting. My painting is a watercolor of my grandparents who are in their 70s and they're still together very much in love. And I wanted to bring that love even in that old age together and that that was possible. And if you see the space here that you can tell that he's bringing her closer. So they really still like each other. And I wanted to display that love. In open now, space. Did, did they sit for this portrait or did you just do this from a photograph and imagination? How did you do it? I had them for a photograph since they were visiting my house so I just had them visit and sit and I took a picture and I created the background from another picture. I do use other media quite frequently. My favorite is pen and ink. I'm not quite too fond of watercolor but I'd rather choose ink as a medium. But watercolor was very fun, especially the patterns here. So I wanted to capture that fun kind of look while they were smiling. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank, you. So Thank you. Good evening. I'm so pleased to be here to be able to talk to you because I'm Jackie Cabbage, the curator of art in a museum. We have a very small staff, but we have a huge number of volunteers. So from everybody who made cookies and uh, and flowers, and uh, uh, is manning and uh, womaning the desk downstairs, and uh, cleaned up for us today. Everyone, we want to thank you so much. Our our volunteers are priceless, and thank you to you all. Um, 
I'm so pleased to have our first exhibit in this space, that of your uh, school art, because it just feels to me like it's an investment in the future. So we want you very much to enjoy the evening and uh, eat, eat all the last cookies and, uh, and visit with each other and get pictures taken. And remember this time, because um, I tell the joke uh, that I had to paint 20 years before I got a show in this place. <laughs> And, and you have been chosen by your teachers and with respect for your work and uh, it's been presented in a beautiful way. Um, and so I am really thrilled that we are on inaugurating our new gallery space up here with your work. I am proud to let you know that we had uh, an, a, uh, a longtime artist, Patricia Richards Dodds, who is also a fundraiser and a teacher and very active in the community in the arts. She came and looked at the show and she was struck by the wonderful quality of the work. She wasn't able to be here tonight. She's got another, <coughs> another opening for one of her colleagues. And she asked me to convey to you that she was really impressed by the quality of the work and to uh, really take that to heart because she meant it. Good. So we will start with the honorable mention uh, awards. And Mr. Dobbs is going to shake your hand while Mr. Deardorff. Mr. Deerdorf is going to take your picture. And as you are circulating around the museum later, you're going to be able to see that we have a video running downstairs that Mr. Deerdorf did two years ago. So you will see yourself up on the screen in a cup whenever we get this produced. Great. <laughs> All right. Next year. That video Next that year. <laughs> yes. Yes. You can see what the ribbons look like. Eat your heart out. OK. <laughs> from from uh, Dolfo Camarillo High School, um, our honorable mention uh, winner is Aldrich Zarcher for what photos didn't capture. Aldrich, would you come forward? <laughs> the ribbons have just been discovered. Aldrich, we're going to give you a ribbon. <laughs> Practice for graduation. Good. You shake the low and you grab above. <laughs> There's protocol to this. <laughs> Congratulations. Good. And from Adolfo High School, uh, Adolfo Camarillo High School, also, Caitlin Springer for Me Disoriented. Congratulations to the winner. From Oxnard High School, we have Amy Zava for Teen Idol, her photograph. From Oxnard High School, we have Christopher Viorata into Africa. That's a wonderful place. Christopher. Okay. All right, we'll hold his, his ribbon for him, or someone else will hold him. I'll lose him. Uh, okay, from Pacifica High School, um, we are pleased to award Jose Lara June's Gold an honorable mention ribbon. And his, his teacher will take it for us. <laughs> and also from um, Pacifica High School, we have Sonia Esparza, The Beauty of Hell. From Channel Islands High School, we have honorable mention for Sean Orario, How to Conquer Mental Anguish. Great. Thank you. Teachers, gonna take them up. It's a great piece. And also from Channel Islands High School, Sheridan Talbert, 
never lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. <laughs> and from Rio Mesa High School, we have Savannah Cole Black. And from Rio Mesa, we have Jocelyn Liparado, Mose Isley. Moss Isley. <laughs> Moss Isley. Good. Here comes a teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And for the next piece of artwork from Wainimi High School, we have two artists who worked on this piece. We have Erica Chang and we have Salvador Rodriguez. Neither. <laughs> You've seen a lot of the teachers tonight. <laughs> okay. And our last honorable mention for Wainimi High School is for Gabriel Hernandez, Checkered Past. <laughs> he went home for dinner, so he's the one who's going to get home cooking tonight. Okay, let's go to the third prize winners. And we had three categories. We had a two-dimensional drawing, painting, uh, printmaking category. We also have photography and digital uh, photography. And we also had a sculpture three-dimensional category. In the category of the two-dimensional work, which is a wonderful uh, uh, image on scratchboard, we have Jasmine Quanas from Channel Islands High School, Pico de Gallo. Good. I think we'll see the teacher again. All right, and from uh, in that second category of photography and digital, uh, digital arts, we have, we have a third prize winner from Marianne Hinahan, her beautiful photograph, photograph of Serenity. And in our sculpture, our 3D, we have Itzel Torres, Young Man, from Channel Islands High School. Good, we'll get it. All right, we have a second prize, uh, second prize winner in that same category. In uh, two-dimensional drawing, painting, uh, uh, and uh, printmaking, we have a self-portrait -por by Celeste Hirado from Channel Islands High School. <laughs> Celeste, are you here? <laughs> All right. And in that second, second uh, prize category for photography, we have uh, a wonderful, nostalgic uh, photograph uh, Somas Pastimes by Lani Padilla from Pacifica High School. Congratulations. <laughs> and our, our last second, second prize winner is in the three-dimensional category, which is sculpture. Uh, Charlie Ketchum's humorous Sultan of Swaft from Camarillo High School. His, Shelton, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> I worked hard. <laughs> All right, first, first prize winners uh, in the same three categories. First prize in painting a beautiful poetic watercolor by Bong Kung Pang from Camarillo High School. Her grandparents. In the first, first uh, prize winner in the photography category is Alexis Padilla, Through the Eyes of Eros. Really beautiful image from Pacifica High School.
We'll fix it. Alexis Moreno. Alexis Moreno. Very good. Alexis Moreno, because your family's probably here. Let's get your name right. Thank you. And our first prize in photography is the very, very humorous, surprising first prize in, yes, first prize in, in sculpture. It goes to Aldrich Zarcher, who opens and closes our, our, uh, our show. Aldrich, are you still here the, for the Mercardi Mercodian Time Adjuster? <laughs> I would like to thank you all for being here tonight. We really appreciate your being here. And I'm going to have... We have one more announcement. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, we have one of our winners was, uh, was uh, one of our photo photographs was one, has won the big purple ribbon, if it's around for you to see. Uh, and it goes to Mary Ann Hinahon for her serenity for photograph congratulations <laughs> and mr dabs what has a, a bit more to say uh, those of you that took uh, first second and third those uh, artworks will be hung and displayed in the uh, uh, boardroom and we will also, at a board meeting, uh, honor you that evening and have you uh, be recognized by the Board of Education for your outstanding work. But we would certainly like to have access to your art so that we can uh, display that at the Oxford Union High School District uh, Board of Education. Also, I would like to make a correction on the cookies. Uh, the cookies were provided by a, a different group of artists from Pacifica High School. The Culinary Arts Program at Pacifica High School provided the cookies. And I am Lonnie J. Padilla from Pacifica High School. All right, and tell me a little bit about your work here. You won, well, first of all, tell me what you won tonight. I won second place for photography. Outstanding, and tell me about this picture. About this picture, this was taken about three years ago, never went back. And I think this has to be my old best vintage photo about my favorite baseball field I used to play at. Now, this is in Somis, mm -hmm. which is kind of on the other end of Camarillo. Oh, yeah. Talk about how, you used to play baseball here as a kid, so you wanted to shoot that field? Oh, yeah. The last, it's the last photo that I've ever taken, too. That's the last picture you've ever taken? Of Somis. Okay. Never been there for years. Gotcha. Now, what, 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 do you like, what do you like about your photograph? I really like how old it is and how it captured the rule of thirds in this one. I like how it captured the title, the background, and just the landscape itself. I really like the it. Lighting. What time of day did you shoot this? Oh, it was a very cloudy day, like midday too. Hi, um, I'm Sabrina Young Tran, and I'm a senior at Rio Mesa High School. And uh, this is an oil painting I did. It's based off a picture I took of a candle. And um, I just, I really wanted to, I just used oil. It took about two months to finish it all. And the I just. The flame is really, <laughs> really intricate. Thank you. Um, did you did you have to look at the photograph a lot when you were trying to capture that? Yeah, I was constantly referencing the photo and just looking back and forth the entire time. It's beautiful. And there's a really dark background to it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you like about your painting. It's okay to say what you like about it. Um, I like it uh, from actually a distance a bit because I think it looks more realistic and the center actually looks like liquid. Hi, my name is Drea Ayala. I'm a senior student at Pacifica High School, and this is my painting. What is the title and tell me about it? Uh, the title is Beauty and Mutation, and what was going on through my head was just a billions of expressions, and I just decided to mix the human body with something pretty strange and express what I was feeling at the moment. Yeah, I go through a lot in my life, and that's just the way to release myself and it's it's like I'm in my own bubble, and it's just me and what I'm doing. And, and they, uh, they all have to be able to take pictures. Okay, engineer is oh, they were looking for you downstairs, Ron. So who's they? They have to go downstairs. You're here. Right, right. Uh, what I want to ask you is, uh, I 
think Tom's finally going to look at that animated thing. On your own. You okay. Yeah, you can do that too if you don't want But I also downloaded it and put it on there so I don't have to worry about the slow down. Thank you. You put it on there. It's in my folder, it says, uh, 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 u